Our next lesson on working with Custom Show will introduce you to the media library and the management features you can find to better prepare and organize your presentation resources. Custom Show allows both users and administrators to upload, import, and manage resources of their choice. After importing resources, the same content can be added to presentation slides, and resources that have been added to a company library can be further managed by administrators. The Media Library is a component of the Library Console, and it can be accessed at any time by clicking on the small plus button found on the far right side in the Library. This will expand the Media Library to occupy the entire Custom Show window. The Media Library functions similarly to the Presentation Library. Each Custom Show user has access to a My Resources folder, where files they choose to import into Custom Show are stored. Administrators can import resources into a company shared library folder so that all users can work with the same image or video resources in their presentations. All users can insert resources found in a library folder, but only administrators can add, remove, or edit these resources. Changes made in the media library will affect the media display window in the editor. When images or videos are added to a desired folder, any user can then edit a presentation in the editor to insert the resources available. Any changes made to the original resource found in the media library will affect the display of the resource on each slide in Custom Show, particularly when changes are made by an administrator. Controlling resources is similar to presentations. Users can click on New Folder to create a new folder in an accessible location, and then drag and drop any number of other files or folders into a destination of their choice. Clicking on Import Media will allow a user to select any number of locally stored files to upload into Custom Show, which will appear in the currently viewed media folder. The majority of media resource editing options can be found when right-clicking on a resource. All media resources can be previewed to see how the resource appears in an actual size. Resources can also be downloaded, resized, renamed, and deleted in this menu. When resizing an image according to the user's desired dimensions, this will create a new version of the same resource in the same folder, just with the new dimensions. Administrators can also choose to update content which replaces any resource with any other locally stored file. This update content option applies the change across the entire Custom Show application and modifies every presentation containing an instance of the selected resource. Lastly, video resources can also be modified. The initial poster frame which is the image seen when the video is not playing, can be set to a different frame of the user's choice. This is done by selecting a video and then clicking on Edit Poster Frame. Then a user can play the video and stop the playback at a desired frame to set up a new poster frame. 